Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, webinar. In this webinar, uh, we are going to talk about business dashboards. And you might have uh, been thinking, what is a business dashboard? I thought everything was a business dashboard. Well, I hope that uh, during the presentation you get a better overview of what we mean by a business dashboard. We will also uh, uh, look at what is the secret formula for business outcome. And we will also see how you can get a high level attention and commitment from the C-level suite with your BI and analytic uh, investments. So let's start with just uh, introducing Cooperator. Cooperator is a global software company. We are spread all over the world with 18 locations. We have a uh, thousand customers or more than thousand customers in 50 countries. And we offer what we call a disruptive business management platform that can actually give your BI and analytic investment uh, much more value. We uh, offer our solution as a cloud solution or on-premise solution. And uh, we re uh, just uh, in 2016, we entered into Gartner's Magic Quadrant for strategic corporate performance management suites. So well, uh, this is what Gartner says about Cooperator. Uh, Cooperator uh, business management platform is a flexible business modeling platform uh, that is configurable, configurable by business user. So what is a business modeling platform? Well, to be very, uh, you know, use an analogy like uh, Lego, uh, think of Lego with all these thousands of Lego bricks that you have, you can build whatever you want. You can build a tree, you can build a house, you can build a boat. It's the same with Cooperator. We have decoded business into small pieces like blocks and we can just put them together and voila, you have a business application. Let me take you uh, through something that I think most of the BI and analytic projects are uh, facing today. I think a lot of uh, BI and analytic projects face challenging challenges in uh, actually uh, justifying business outcome of their investments. Because you have the data and you do nice reporting and you do nice analytics and you gain some insights, but is it really giving business outcome? I think there are two major components that needs to be addressed in a BI and analytic project. In addition to the insight that you have, which is very valuable, the insight into the data, in order to get business outcome, you need to plan for success and execute for success. So this is actually what is in the Cooperator business management platform. It's these three components. It's this analytical layer, analyze, it's the planning layer, it's the execution layer. So analyze, plan, execute equals business outcomes or gives business outcomes. So this is the secret formula for business outcome, analyze, plan, execute. So what can you do with uh, the platform? Well, you can actually orchestrate the whole business layer in a company. So you can take the strategy and the strategic layer you can do the tactical layer and all the functional areas uh, like uh, finance, portfolio management, quality, HR, sales, etc. And the nice thing is that this is no, uh, it's not coding at all. It's not low coding. It's actually no coding. So with all our customers all over the world, it, I know it sounds too good to be true, but we haven't done any customization into the platform because like Lego blocks, you can build whatever you want, and it's the same with uh, with Cooperator. The software is configurable, and it's configured by business user. Yeah, so that's it. And for the uh, analytical, we have a lot of analytical tools in the Cooperator platform, but we also use Click Analytic Platform or Tableau or uh, other tools like Microsoft Power BI 
or other BI vendors. So if you haven't an already done an investment into BI, don't think that this is of uh, no interest. Continue to, to listen to the webinar. So what we have done with these Lego blocks is actually we have decoded business in order to uh, start with a big, uh, you know, let's take the Lego analogy again. If you have a big house that you have built in order to see what are the components, you know, you need to break the house and you need to decode the whole kind of house into finding the small blocks. This is what we have done. We have done this into all the functional domains. And we have seen that uh, there are a lot of similarities uh, between the functional domains. But overall, all of these business domains, they, uh, you know, connect to a framework. And there are specialized framework within all of these um, business domains. With strategy, you have a uh, management by objectives, you can have balance scorecard, you can have uh, all sorts of strat strategic framework. You might have a project portfolio management uh, framework where you have a stage gating, you have project management, work breakdown structure, etc. For governance risk and compliance, you might have a pillar one, pillar two, COSO framework, enterprise risk framework and other models. I don't want to go through all of this, uh, these models. But what we have seen is that within, uh, uh, within these uh, functional domains, it's almost the same that they do every, every, every one of them. They measure, they collect, they assess information, they approve information, they analyze information and data, they publish data, they communicate, they automate, collaborate and calculate. So this is generic processes. And with these generic processes and our, we say 250 Lego blocks that we have in our, in our uh, uh, platform, uh, we can actually build business applications. I'm just going to show you some examples quickly. Uh, within the strategic framework, we have a lot of uh, our customers are using it for uh, implementing their st strategies, uh, business transformations. We have a ho whole countries that are using Corporator for taking their visions for the whole country and cascade it down to the ministries and departments and down actually to the individual level. So this is uh, very nice. We have been working with uh, Kaplan and Norton and their framework for Balance Scorecard uh, and also other management consultants that have their own frameworks. Within the financial domain, uh, actually every um, month when we have the business review, I'm actually conducting the business review with my 18 managers around the world and we use Corporator. So there I can see the whole kind of sales, uh, consulting, cash flow, uh, profit and loss, etc. If I would like to have it out in a report, I can click on a button and it comes out like a financial report, you know, like a annual report. I can do simulations or I can actually share my uh, or corporators performing with our investors. We also do a lot of uh, project and, and portfolio in corporator, but this is actually from our uh, some of our clients that they are using corporator as a portfolio dashboard. So you can say, well, I have a project application. Fine, you know, but if you like to, uh, have the full overview. That's one of the challenges uh, with project management application. You can actually extract the projects and the information into a portfolio dashboard and run it in Corporator and really kind of put on additional dimensions or different additional information like risk management, etc. So uh, this is just some examples. I mentioned risk care. We have functionality for risk, risk mitigation plans, compliance uh, and specialized risk models, quality uh, management, quality excellence models, continuous improvement models like uh, Deming's quality circle, etc. Process management, sales management. And this is actually one, one of our customer. The customer said, you know, what's so nice about Corporator is that you not, you're not only measuring performance, but you're actually driving performance through this action-oriented planning and execution part of Corporator. 
into HR and there, are, there is a whole movement going now with uh, 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 we'll say a, a, a new philosophy called objectives and key results. So here you take individuals and team and link it up to corporate uh, goals, etc. and have uh, regular reviews in the software. You can also do the annual assessment uh, process with Cooperator. Uh, within operations, we do operational reporting. We uh, are following the whole operations. And when there are deviations, we can actually call for meetings and uh, really put in the improvement uh, initiatives. You, uh, you can also drill down into the uh, information incorporator. And if you like to, you can actually come to every invoice if, if that's kind of uh, desired. And at the end, the BI layer, uh, we have a strong analytical capability with drill down incorporator, but we can also utilize existing investment if you have done existing investment in Microsoft, Click or Tableau or others. And um, yeah, actually, uh, get more value out of those investments. And the good thing here is that you, when you do this, you will also distribute out uh, the results from the BI analytics. What I'm going to do now is to take you through a, a process, a, a process of uh, a company that uh, uh, have some problems with their uh, uh, sales. And uh, this is probably something that uh, you are familiar with. It's a dashboard with some numbers and graphs. But um, what I will show you now is uh, some other dashboards, some more action-oriented dashboards, uh, where you actually can, uh, can work with uh, the planning and execution part as well. Uh, this is another kind of view of a dashboard. This is a more strategic performance dashboard. And what I'm going to do now is to go into uh, one of the objectives here, uh, growing by successful expansion. And uh, this is a, a area you see it's a red and they have challenges here. So the manager have uh, done some quick analytics or uh, high level analytics and found out we need to do something. So the first thing the manager does is the manager says, I need to actually enter in uh, uh, an assignment. I need a data uh, analyst to go in and find out why UK is underperforming. I've kind of, as a manager, found out UK is striving. That's kind of the background for the negative results. And I need to get help from uh, analytical capabilities or, and capacity. So I take the uh, uh, available business analyst and request uh, an info uh, request the project here. What I also like to do before I show how the business analysts uh, see this is actually to show you that here you see the whole business context. So the manager is in, he's into December 2015, he's into the organization Active 7, uh, onto the strategic performance, into the financial domain, into uh, the strategic objective growth strategy. And here we are actually looking at a, a problem and we have requested uh, an analytic discovery process uh, uh, from a business analyst. The business analyst uh, get notified, it's a tree mail or I will log on to the system. And you see here, uh, there is a hypothesis there. So the manager have asked uh, the analyst to look at check why UK is underperforming, you know. And UK is actually underperforming and the analyst uh, would like to probably start with a high level. Why is it? What is it? What are the hypotheses that others have put in? So uh, the analyst goes into a, a KPI here, finds out that, uh, yeah, this is uh, the, the, the status of the KPI for this area. He can drill into details. He can read assessments of people that are closer to the problems that, that he is, uh, take out PowerPoints and Word documents and additional information, or he can start uh, drilling into the analytic workbench. So here you see I put up the analytic workbench. If I click on the analytic workbench, 
me as a data analyst comes into this kind of uh, uh, screenshot or this kind of uh, interface. Here is actually Click, uh, Click Analytic Platform. It's put into a business context and here the analyst starts to explore and actually do the analytics and find out is it specific goods, is it specific stores, is it specific days that are kind of problems or what is the problem. Based on the analysis that the, the analyst is doing, he or she puts up the, the story and say this is what I found, this is uh, the challenge I believe and next is he or she probably would like to say, we need to do something with this. So I'm actually adding a new project uh, and the data scientist comes up here and proposes an action or an initiative. And uh, here you see he has come up with, you see here, uh, PDCA fix gap in price difference. So this is, uh, and Ethel should be responsible for this. Uh, I'm not saying anything about start and end date and I cannot as a business analyst approve it. But uh, this goes to the manager, the manager goes in and say, okay, responsible uh, should actually not be Ethel, it should actually be uh, the CEO here and uh, there should be $30,000 in, in, in budget, etc. And uh, the, the manager approves the funding. So this is uh, just one way of, of doing this. So what I hope you have a kind of uh, seen here is actually how uh, a manager can actually find something in the data and put over a request to a business analyst. A business analyst do the investigation and discoveries and uh, put it back to the manager uh, for execution. So this is how uh, this is was an example of how you can analyze, plan, and execute in corporate. What I would like to also highlight at the end here is uh, functionality in corporate or business management platform to make pixel perfect printing comprehensive documents. So it uh, contains all the text, all the, the you know, what, what, whatever you can do in Word, you can do in, in, uh, in corporate. Uh, we also have customers that takes all the management text out from, from corporate uh, and present it. And uh, I just heard some, uh, some information that 95% still do cut and paste when it comes to financial reporting. With Corporator, you can just click a button and the whole deck will come out uh, as PowerPoint for, me, for you. We also have a functionality for adding manual data and this is structured manual data collection where you actually can put up validation rules, etc. This is challenges in BI project, but we have very good uh, functionality for this. So to summarize the whole thing, and what I hope you have got from this is that there is a difference between a data dashboard that gives insight into data and a business dashboard that has both analyze, plan and execution. And it's also contextualized into a business framework and it has a lot of these uh, qualitative aspects like assessment, evaluation, tasks, projects, descriptions, etc. Business outcome, uh, I think you, you have a, at least a good chance to achieve business outcome if you do analyze, plan and execute and not just one of the, the, the parts there. Uh, yeah, we were we touched upon this uh, data discovery into a, a business context. You saw the, the how UK and this uh, store were underperforming, how it was discovered, uh, proposed uh, actions, etc. And what I think uh, I won't put uh, I won't uh, say what you should conclude with. But what our uh, more than 1000 customers has concluded with is that corporator business management platform is actually helping them breaking the functional silos. It's a platform for building and orchestrating these business applications and actually to get business outcome uh, out of their in investments. So that was all for now. We have uh, more on our web page on how to configure applications and how it works and uh, more information. 
So uh, I hope you have enjoyed the presentation and don't hesitate in contacting us.